they told us they were releasing beta codes for Halo 3, of course, we got excited. But we never for a moment thought the game you had to buy to get the beta code would be any good. Yeah, but wonders never cease. So here's our review of Crackdown for the 360. This is war. A war on crime. Welcome to the near future. As you may have expected, it sucks. With a world on the edge of anarchy, all forms of policing across the globe combine forces to form the agency. Well, that's scary. In Crackdown, it's your job to make it suck just a little less by killing every single gang member in a 10 mile radius. Because it's not assassination if you have a badge. The overall goal is to eliminate the leaders of Los Muertos, the Volk, and the Shy Gen's enigmatic Wang. Wait, what? Can we show that? And the Shy Gen's enigmatic Wang. That's better. Luckily, you're not just a run of the mill cop with the new world order. You're a super powered cyborg with regenerating shields and the ability to evolve your skills as you use them. Translation If you kill a guy with a gun, your firearm skill improves. If you kick a guy to death, your physical strength scores the experience. Kick enough people in the head, and you'll level up that ability. Your physical strength is increasing, Agent. So while you start as a skinny little wuss, by the end of the game, you're a nine foot tall engine of justice who can lift trucks and cause agency vehicles to morph into the Batmobile. Also, you can jump really far. At this point, you're thinking, this is all well and good, sir, but I find I harbor reservations regarding the purchase of a GTA clone at this juncture, or something like that. Good news, Crackdown is not a GTA clone. Yeah, it's an open world sandbox game, but the superhuman powers set it apart from stuff like Saints Row and Just Cause. Plus, it resembles mercenaries more than GTA. There's no real story to speak of in Crackdown, and the game is light on the satire, heavy on the action. And the Shy Gen's enigmatic way. Right. It just plops you into a huge city and says, go nuts. There are 21 underworld bosses you have to eliminate, but you're free to progress at your own pace in any order you like. As you approach a gang boss's stronghold, you'll get a data file on them. Assaults on gang strongholds are the most intense battles in the game, and there are numerous ways to approach each one. I prefer going in the front door. The goal of each is to take out the leader of said stronghold. Hey, there's Martinez. Not a problem. The only real character in the game is your contact at the agency, who starts out providing you with valuable advice, low armor agent, and quickly progresses to nagging. Your indiscriminate killing of the innocent is unacceptable, Agent. Finally, settling on non sequiturs. A dead freak is a good freak. The battles with gang kingpins are great, but there are also foot races to complete, hundreds of hard to reach orbs to collect, and of course, tons of things to destroy. And the Shy Gen's enigmatic Wang. Oh, knock it off. Crackdown distinguishes itself by giving you superhuman abilities that are easy to control, but the well-designed city and pitch-perfect physics means it's easy to make your own fun. Here at X-Play, we enjoy the occasional round of exploding gas tank freeway gymnastics. Nice corkscrew. Into the highway sign, points off. Ooh, two at once. That's a distance record. And if you get lonely, hop on Xbox Live and join a friend's game. Crackdown can be played cooperatively from beginning to end. Let's hope GTA 4 has a co-op mode as cool as this. And the Shy Gen's enigmatic way. That too. For injecting new life into a now aging genre and for being the closest thing we'll ever get to a good Matrix game, Crackdown nets a five. Out of five. This is remarkable. Catch an all-new X-Play, weeknights at 8, only on G4.